Hey fam, I'm Yessi and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about the uh, iLive V3S Pro uh, vacuum machine that I got. It's actually my Christmas gift and I'm going to be unboxing it with you guys today. Oh my goodness, I'm pretty popular today. Um, let me just turn the volume off of this. But So I'm going to be unboxing my new vacuum, my floor cleaner. It's actually for hardware floors because I am a full-time working mama and I kind of like my floors clean I yeah for my own sanity I asked my husband for this for Christmas let's get back to unboxing my floor cleaner robot machine <laughs> thing <laughs> and ooh, look at this okay so this is what happens when you're on keto you you start losing hair and that's why it's important to take collagen and I'm actually loading up on collagen as we speak okay so let's get back to the unboxing of my vacuum machine cleaner floor device robot thing scissors we need scissors okay apparently she wants to help out in our controller now we are going to look at our beautiful robot so I'm gonna just go ahead and show you what the box comes with so we got two little filters that you replace every month oh it comes with this little cleaning brush charging dock and this machine is not uh, one of those machines that instantly knows or has strip that tells it where not to go. And it also does not have an app that you download. So it's pretty much just gonna bump into everything until it cleans up whatever it needs to clean up. And after the battery dies down, it's gonna go directly to the dock. We're gonna go ahead and connect this. Also, the cool thing about this machine is that it has a sensor at the bottom that tells it when it's getting close to like stairs or something so that it won't fall and break, which is awesome. But if you have a black low pile carpet, it's gonna like read it as if it's gonna fall and it's not gonna, it's not gonna clean that carpet. This is more for hardware floors, like I said. And um, yeah, we don't have carpet here in the house, which is great. It, also has these little brushes and I'm pretty sure this is just like move the trash in to its opening and this is where it picks up the trash and it's more on a suction like it'll pick up things on suction base whereas some vacuums have the um, spinning brush inside here something that I did not say is that it also comes with you see these little brushes are here it comes with an additional set of little brushes for your right and your left side just in case so um, then make it clean it yeah it picks up the little trash but I hope that Liam doesn't try to ride this um, robot vacuum floor cleaner device I think Liam's just gonna chase on it he's gonna chase on it? I think so yeah he's been destroying our Christmas tree <laughs> because he thinks that these are like bombs yeah 
He does. So my tree looks kind of bald. <laughs> oh yeah, his little footprint. No, a fingerprint, handprint. Okay, so we'll be back. We're back. We're back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're back. Okay. So I connected the charging dock already, and I read a little bit more information on this device. And <laughs> did she have coffee or what? Okay. Inside it says do not wash high performance filter. So it has like a little handle so you can just pull it up. And down at the bottom it has a serial pull cover. Okay, so you open your your little box. This is the one that they don't want you to wash because these are supposed to be removed every month. And this one looks like you can you can wash it. So wow. once, yeah, so wow. you can remove this. And then that's how you throw away the trash that it collects. So let's put this back inside, close it. There's section opening right there where it picks it up and it has an opening there so that's where it collects the trash. Close this and it says turn the power switch on for starting. I don't know if it's gonna turn on only because I need to charge it. So it gives you instructions if this does not want to move and it seems like it's moving slower than usual, you might have like hair buildup here and I lose a lot of hair as you guys can see. Here, there's like a little sensor. Um, I can assume this is where the sensor is and it starts to, it, it signals to the machine, hey, you're getting too close to the edge. Oh look at this! It has like a little, like a little bumper pad. You see? Yeah. You see? It's gonna be bumping into everything. Okay, so we're gonna go put this to charge. So I put my charging port right here and connected it to the wall. And so also when using the machine, you have to make sure that that there's no like wet spots on the floor. It can damage the robot. We're just gonna have to let this robot charge until tomorrow, or because we're like midday. So maybe, maybe later tonight I can record. Yeah, I'll get back to you guys tomorrow when the robot is nice and ready to be used. Bye. So it kind of got stuck under my bed. Oh. <laughs> it keeps going under your bed. I think it senses it. It needs so to be clean. You're just Oh my god, I found something. I found a plastic spoon. Well, let's, um. Good job. Now go clean the living room, please. See, it bumps into everything. And it's going back for the shoe. So this is as much trash that I collected. I did have to empty the bin at least four times. And uh, so I'll show you guys really quickly um, how to use the machine. Okay, so really quickly, let's see if you guys can see the controller. See the controller. Okay, so I can hit, make it go ahead and start taking off by pressing the start button. 
and it goes off then if I wanted to if I wanted to spot clean a certain area I can just hit the spot button oh that's not it this one so it'll spot clean a particular area that I want <clears throat> so this is to go forward down side side and this one here is to clean the edges and hopefully it'll take itself to the edge now I think Ethan's foot is an edge boy this is to set a timer on a particular time that you want it to clean this one is to send it home so let's send it home Liam is not liking it it's looking for its home yes Liam we're gonna go outside and hang out it's looking for its home yes it does it's just positioning itself you see it did it the other day good night little buddy the Roompa Loompa outfit must go to sleep. I do find that this Roompa Loompa, aka Alfred, is like having another child. Because it does tend to get itself trapped over here, the, by, behind the couch. It gets itself trapped almost anywhere. No, but he gets stuck right here. <laughs> Liam gets stuck on the little... Mr. Roompa Loompa, aka Alfred, is bringing so much joy as I will insert a video of Liam screaming and running away. Scared of the Roompa Loompa Alfred. That's the nickname we've given it now. All right, you guys. What do you got to say? We hope you like and subscribe. And hit the bell notification. Bye. Love you, Ethan. Chicken box. <laughs> Bye. Bye, 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 Bye